Mm. Why do you turn on when I'm eating? So it's been a little while since I've done a video blog. If you follow me on social media, then you've kind of seen what has been going on a little bit for probably the last week. Um, finished my meat. It was good. Did a video blog. Kind of went over that bit. Um, and then I was prepping for a photo shoot that was last Wednesday. Um, literally, I haven't trained in seven days. Um, other than the photo shoot where I did a little bit of powerlifting, but not a lot. Um, so I technically haven't even stepped foot in a gym since uh, Wednesday evening. Um, I was exhausted after the meet. Uh, biting, I was bit off probably a lot more than I could chew. Um, wasn't really expecting this photo shoot to happen, but a lot of exciting things are coming um, in the future and uh, that was kind of the start. So I knew after the meet that I really had to buckle down and get it done, um, kind of dieted down, really made sure that I was in the shape that I wanted to be in for the photo shoot. Consulting with my coach, I was just really upset that I had lost the motivation to go to the gym based on the fact that my body wasn't ready for it, um, despite the fact that my mind really, really wanted to push myself to get into the next training cycle um, after the success of the meet. It's really, really hard to reassess and you know, accept that rest and relaxation is just as important as training hard and training through the pain. And there's a very fine line and a really, really, there's a really fine line between, um, you know, a little bit of pain and a little bit of issues with mobility and stretching and training through that um, and coming out on top and literally beating yourself down and uh, making a situation worse than what it already is. And I think a lot of the times what makes a great lifter and what makes a great athlete is those who are able to see where that line is drawn and to be able to st step back and reassess your situation and give yourself some time. It was really, really nice just to relax, eat. Um, I kind of went fat girl crazy this weekend. Like, food has been such an issue for me and this worry of getting fat or irrational fear of it. And, uh, it really kind of was an epiphany last week where it was just like, and anyone who was on my social media kind of saw it, um, I'm becoming comfortable with where I'm at now. Um, I'm comfortable with what I have achieved and where I'm sitting at. Aesthetics and powerlifting can go hand in hand, but they're has to be a need for mastery of one before a worry of the other. This week I have a feeling is going to be a really big week for me um, in multiple different outlets. Hopefully I'll be able to get some good news to you guys this week on something really exciting happening in my life. Um, hopefully get to train um, with some awesome people and uh, yeah, so stay tuned because uh, there's some really big things going on in the horizon and uh, I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, I'm feeling really, really positive now after just giving myself some time to recuperate and to uh, kind of just balance my life out a little bit because it's really easy to get uh, unbalanced and really easy to put so much into one thing of just letting myself relax a little bit and recuperate and let my body kind of do what it needs to do um, really helped me snap out of this funk and uh, it's not detrimental to my training I'm going right back into a new cycle um, and uh, at least I'm going into a new cycle with a positive attitude you gotta let yourself have some fun. You can't go full batshit crazy in one direction and fucking tunnel vision yourself to uh, losing your mind because that's what it feels like sometimes and I hope you guys had a really really good weekend um, and I hope that you're going into tomorrow as positive as I am if not um, it's always good to just take a step back and reassess your your goals reassess um, the way that you want to conquer these goals and sometimes it just takes a little bit of time um, if you are going into something with a negative mindset how much are you gonna achieve if uh, you know, you were to maybe take a step back and take two days to think about um, what you want to do, uh, reassess the situation, reassess your mindset, 
kind of um, put yourself on a different path into that situation. Um, so you lose two days, but if you were training those two days with a really terrible mindset, what are you going to achieve? Your, your training sessions are terrible. Your mental is terrible. Your body feels terrible. Um, you're not getting much out of that. Take some time, reassess, recuperate, eat, um, surround yourself with positive people who believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. And honestly, those two days, despite the fact you're losing two days of training or for me, seven days of training, um, I'm going into Monday stronger than I would have if I trained the last week. Uh, and that to me is more important. Uh, really seizing this training cycle by the balls and taking it all the way. Sure. I don't know. That seems good. Uh, keep it sleazy. Uh, and uh, I'll get back to you later this week. I shouldn't be allowed to talk to people.